way of Missouri, University of Missouri. He is now the starting quarterback at Alcorn State. He took the starting position from Aaron Allen. Aaron Allen was a starter last year. He had another year of eligibility, so he decided to come back. Tyler Macon transfers in. Tyler Macon takes his spot within, during spring practice. And in the spring game, plays a starting quarterback. So Tyler Macon is, is going to be the X factor for his Alcorn State team. Now, in getting to watch uh, Tyler Macon's film and understanding who he is, he is a guy that did play in the Elite 11. He was highly touted as a quarterback and was a guy that didn't get as much of an opportunity at Missouri as he wanted. So he's going to Alcorn to play. Right. So understanding that, I think Tyler Macon has a chip on his shoulder. A lot of the guys, shout out to GSPN, a lot of the guys that are around, and shout out to also Common Man Podcast, a lot of guys that are around Alcorn State are buzzing about Tyler Macon. Now, another guy they're buzzing about is Jarvian Howard. I heard uh, there's rumbles that his draft stock might be off the charts. He might be one of the guys from the HBCU level being invited to the NFL Combine. And understanding that, I think Jarvin Howard is poised for a monster year. Part of what makes Tyler Macon his quarterback so good is his dual threat ability. And last year, Jarvin Howard played with a quarterback, Aaron Allen, that didn't have any dual threat ability. I think the fact that the quarterback is a threat with his legs slows the defense down on play action and read option uh, plays so much to the point where they may even hesitate to go and attack Jarvion. And that helps Jarvion. Jarvion is a guy that is fast when he gets the ball very quick and he's quick to get downhill now you don't want to try to tackle Jarvion 20 yards down the field you want to try to tackle him early in his process of receiving the ball now when you have that threat of a running quarterback it really slows down defenders now the biggest question for Alcorn State this season coming up is the wide receiver position you lose your guy CJ CJ Bolar he was the guy you return Monterio Hunt but you now are in a position as Alcorn State as a team that needs more weapons for Tyler Macon. Now, they bring in a new wide receiver from New Mexico, University of New Mexico. His name is Duke Miller. He has a nice size. He's a pretty big guy, around 6'2", 6'3", big frame. He's a definitely a red zone threat and a guy that's going to be a problem for SWAC defenses going down into the end zone. Now, my only question about Duke Miller would really be his lack of acceleration and his his trouble getting separation downfield. He was all MAAC second team, junior college, all second team. So he, you know, he has the honors and he did play very well at his junior college. He exceeded. Now, one thing that I did like about his ability is at his big frame, he understands defenses and he understands soft spots. A guy that can get open for Tyler Macon, a playmaker, is perfect. A playmaker quarterback always needs a, a wide receiver that reads the defense very well and a guy that can get into position to get open and be in soft spots at the right time. <laughs> so as an older receiver, a guy that did play at junior college, I do think, uh, and then go to New Mexico, I do think a guy like Duke Miller might be a nice a nice compadre to a new quarterback like Tyler Macon. Not to mention, you still got your boy Monterio Hunt out there. So right now, the returners for Alcorn State, you're going to have Malik Rogers, Monterio Hunt, Nico Duffy, Akeem McNair. Those are your four guys right now for Alcorn State. We, we just lost a guy, Ladarius Fair, to the uh, portal not too long ago. So Alcorn will be looking to put together this wide receiver core so that they'll have a chance at the SWAC championship. So a couple guys that I do think can give them a good chance would be, number one, Sincere Clark from Virginia Lynchburg. Dude had 32 catches on 455 yards. I think he's a guy that you guys could definitely use. And another guy, bigger name guy, is Zachary Franklin, University of Texas, San Antonio. In 2022, he had 94 catches for 1,136 yards and 12 touchdowns. He's been in the transfer portal for six days. It's a guy you can use. It's a guy that will tear up the swack and will make Tyler Macon look damn good. Those are two guys I'm just throwing up into the air for you guys. Now, next week, don't forget that I'm going back into my top five list, as I always do. Next week, we're going to my bag, and I'm going to pull out top five receivers 
and HBCU football. Can't wait to get it in with you guys. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in with me for another episode of HBCU Flicks. Don't forget, I'm on every Monday on YouTube, and I'm also available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, anywhere you stream podcasts. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.